tonight we come together and we mourn. We mourn the babies, the toddlers, the men, women and children and the IDF soldiers slaughtered in the worst act of mass murder against our people since the Holocaust. But we do more than mourn. We hold our heads high, we stand together and we promise we will defeat this evil. Yes, yeah. Yes, we are in shock, we are. But we should also not be surprised. What we have experienced on and since October 7th was sadly predictable. We warned against it. There were two elements coming together in the horrific, perfect storm of October 7th. The first is the danger of radical Islam, or more accurately, the radical Islamic Nazism that is constantly lurking at Israel's border. The second is the grooming, ongoing grooming of Western civilization through universities, the media, and social media. So that when the time came and the Islamic Nazis carried out the act of genocide, many in the West would celebrate it, justify it, and no longer tell the difference between good and evil. We warned you. We warned you of what from the river to the sea Palestine will be free looks like. We warned you of the dangers of that slogan being used for likes and shares and celebrity virtue signaling on TikTok and Instagram. On October 7th, Hamas showed us what from the river to the sea really means. It means Itbach el Yahud, slaughter the Jews. And in the last week, in Western cities and universities around the world, we see the two chants side by side at gatherings where would be murderers rub shoulders with their Western useful idiots. Western progressives have been played. You have been played. Some, some got a wake-up call, but others have been so brainwashed, so brainwashed to dehumanize, vilify, and demonize Israelis that for now, they're too far gone. Now, nothing's new under the sun. We've seen it for over three and a half thousand years of Jewish experience, lived experience. It's the generational trauma that we carry in our bones. That is our Jewish privilege. We warned that this disproportionate obsession with Israel, this dehumanization of Israelis, of Zionists, of the IDF was nothing but the oldest hatred with new words and we warned where it would lead and we are devastated to be proven right. This demonization of Israel is not progressive, it's not peaceful, and it's sure as heck not gonna free Palestine. It is a modern day blood liable, calculated to incite, pave the way for, and then justify a genocide. <laughs> Israel is one of the greatest stories ever told. Its vilification is one of the greatest smear campaigns in the history of the world. This evil, this radical Islamic Nazism lurking on our borders has been waiting for the chance to exterminate our Jewish democratic nation state. It looked the future in the eye. It saw a possibility of Israel at peace with the region and it didn't embrace it. It set out to exterminate it before it was even born. But. We have news for you. When we say never again, we mean it. Yes. When you tell us that you want to kill us, we believe you. And when you set out to do it in the most horrific of ways, we will defeat you. Yes. To the Palestinian people and all the nations, we reach out a hand as good neighbors, but 
We need you to help us defeat this evil because whether we call it Hamas, ISIS, the Taliban or Hezbollah, that evil that set us to destroy us will destroy you too. We know that you understand this. We know that you understand this better than the so-called activists on your campuses and the social media keyboard warriors in our Twitter feeds. And now is the time to act. To Western universities and progressive circles in which this massacre was celebrated, justified, or minimized, hang your heads. Stop telling yourselves and everybody else that you need to do the work and do some work yourselves. Your unconscious biases against the Jewish people are showing and you're sleepwalking down a path paved by millennia of Jew hatred. Your BDS is a friendly face of a criminal enterprise and it's time to go after it. It's time that law enforcement realize that your movement is inciting murder. Your so-called anti-Zionism is the same genocidal racist belief system. Anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism. And when you find yourselves, when you find yourselves arguing over just how many babies were murdered, beheaded, or burned because these babies were Jewish, just as one person puts it, ask yourselves why your Jewish quarters are empty. What happened in Kibbutz Be'eri and Kibbutz Nir Oz at the Supernova Music Festival was so sadistic, so barbaric and brutal that the word terrorism is too good to describe it. But if you can't even call it that, if you hide behind words like militants, it's complicated. Well, but the occupation, resistance, or decolonization, if you can't unequivocally condemn rape, beheading, or torture of innocent and the kidnapping of grandmothers, some Holocaust survivors from their sick beds, then you are witless pawns in a propaganda machine you don't even know you're being played by. <laughs> Today, I am also going to practice some gratitude. Modani, I am grateful that we, the Jewish people, have a strong state defending us, defended by a citizen army as ethical as any other force in history. We stand shoulder to shoulder with the families of Israelis and Americans held hostage by Hamas terrorists. We call on the world, on every state, the NGO, UN, to pull every lever and every, don't leave a stone unturned, demanding to let the hostages go. Bring them home. Bring them home. And friends, above all, I am grateful for this. In the generations to come, the Jewish people will still live, love and thrive, and reach our hand to the world and Hamas, Hamas will be nothing but a footnote in history, just like the ones who tried to exterminate us before. I'm <laughs> hi, everyone.